The executive governor of Niger State, Mohamed Bago, has urged the media to report more on climate change rather than politics. The governor gave the advice at a two-day retreat for the House of Representatives Press Corps in Mina, Niger State. Emmanuel Ehijene completes the report. Recall that in November 2021, Nigeria passed the Climate Change Act that seeks to achieve low greenhouse gas emissions and green and sustainable growth by providing the framework to set a target to net zero between 2050 and 2070. Ever since the passage, individuals, corporate bodies, NGOs, civil society groups, and of course, governments, both federal and state, have put measures to curtail the effect of climate change on the environment and on the health of citizens. But the executive governor of Niger State, Mohamed Bago, is taking the issue of climate change to another level by involving the media in order to drive the message home. Ably represented by his deputy governor, Kamru Yakubu Garba, the governor calls on the media to pay more attention to reporting issues around climate change rather than politics. He says the topic under discussion couldn't have come at a better time than now. Climate change is one of the biggest problems confronting nations today. In Nigeria, it is a matter of concern to the government and the experts because it is happening at a very frightening level. We have problems of fraud, desertification, environmental pollution, etc. And despite the effort being made, the devastating effects of the climate change are recorded yearly. Even part of the insecurity we face today is attributed to the climatic change, which deserves priority attention. Unfortunately, it seems some of these disasters are even underreported. Perhaps the media is not adequately equipped to handle this. I believe that as a journalist who reports from the parliament, where laws are enacted, it is essential that we acquire the necessary skills and tools to maintain the climate change. For the State Commissioner for Environment, Yakubu Kulu, the Green Economic Summit that will be launched in the few days' time shows the importance the governor attaches to improving the economic, health and welfare of not only citizens of the state, but Nigerians globally. In a few days' time, it is expected that we are going to launch a two-day program on Green Economic Summit for Niger State. This summit is going to lead us to the unveiling of the green economy blueprint for Niger State. Earlier, the chairperson of the House of Representatives, Press Corps Grace Ike, thanked the governor and the entire state for the kind gesture in hosting members of the Press Corps and in reporting climate change issues. The media, as we are all aware, plays a significant role in the government and development of any society. And any public or elected official who knows his or her onions and want to succeed would always quote the media because no matter what you do and how well you perform, without the media, you cannot tell your story. Your achievement will remain elusive and anonymous. Yes, the media critics set agenda, put public officials on their toes. And if you do not have the tenacity purpose, you will shy away from the media. But like we all know, and we keep saying, Honorable Mohammed, right, uh, Mohammed Bago has been a friend of the media. Various papers were presented by erudite and seasoned journalists and scholars. The theme of the retreat is role of the media in mainstreaming climate change policies. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.